Hey guys, so in one of my older videos, I showed you guys how to install the Adder to Cart snippet so that you guys can actually make the abandoned cart flow within Klaviyo. Now, that video is a bit outdated now because they've since changed the interface, but if you want your abandoned cart flows to perform like these stores, then watch this video till the end. So jumping onto my laptop now, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to install the Adder to Cart metric. So by default, this is actually not a flow that is enabled within Shopify. They have a template abandoned cart flow. However, it's actually the abandoned checkout flow since the trigger is checkout started. In order to build the real added to cart flow, you're going to need to set up a few custom snippets to track the event of added to cart uh, to enable you to actually build out the flow. Now, to do this, you want to first of all set up web tracking. This is basically the viewed product metric. If you already have set this up, then feel free to go to the timestamp. Uh, I'll drop it right here uh, in order for you to uh, watch the actual snippet installation. So first of all, you want to make sure this snippet is installed. By the way, I'm going to have all of the code and uh, things along those lines in PDF format linked down below. Uh, just give me your email and I'll make sure to send it over. So to do this, you're going to need to copy this piece of code to your uh, product.liquid. So to access that, you simply want to go to online store themes, action, edit code. And in this tab, you want to make sure to search for product.liquid. So as you can see, um, it's already open for me, but in case it's not for you guys, it's just product.liquid. I have been getting comments of people who don't actually have product.liquid file. A workaround that I found to, to work best is if you just search uh, product uh, like this, um, and then you find the, you scroll down to sections and you should have something similar to like product template dot liquid, anything along these lines will work. Okay. It's just that, um, with certain themes on Shopify, like the, the naming conventions are a bit different, right? So you want to find either product dot liquid or product template dot liquid or some sort of variation of this, right? So what you'll want to do is cop, go back to uh, the code that I showed you guys earlier, this piece right here. This is for the uh, uh, viewed product metric, okay? So this needs to be installed, right? So once you install this, just copy this at the bottom of product.liquid. And now, once you hit save, you're going to be ready to install the added to cart metric. Right. So now there's actually two variations of the added to cart metric that you need to uh, use. So one variation requires is required when your added to cart is referenced by a ID. Sometimes though it's referenced by a class name. So that's what distinguishes the uh, use of ID or class notation. To identify if it's like a class notation or if it's an ID notation, you just need to go to your uh, store URL. So for example, uh, let's just take uh, this store right here. Um, you want to click into the uh, into one of your product pages, hit right click on the add to cart button and hit inspect. And what this is going to do is it's going to pull up the actual code uh, in order for you to find out if it's a class or a ID, right? So as you can see in this case, right, there's no, uh, there's, there's no ID, it's just class. That means you'll need to use this snippet right here. And uh, it says class here, by the way, in case you guys are struggling to see because I know the text is a bit small. However, sometimes it's referenced by ID. So pretty much you need to make sure that it's either class or ID like for example, in here, you can see ID and then they have the class, right? From that, you're gonna be able to tell if you need the ID notation or the class notation. So let's say we were doing the uh, add to cart snippet installation for this brand right here, Transformer Table, right? We would take the ID name, which is minus capital ADD, so minus add, right? So instead of having the ID reference be add to cart here, we wanna copy and paste your button ID into this snippet. And once this is done, assuming that you guys are using the ID one, I'm just going to copy this into my demo store for the sake of uh, demonstration purposes. Um, you want to copy that segment. Now it's really important because the code is compiled sequentially, meaning it's done line by line. Uh, you need to make sure your added to cart metric is installed under the viewed product. Right? So this is a view product. This would be the uh, added to cart segment snippet. Okay? 
So once this is installed below, uh, you want to hit save and your snippet installation is going to be complete. Now, if you guys were to use the class notation reference, so in this case, let's use a hiccup hop as a demonstration, right? Uh, you wanna take the class and you wanna take the entire class name, so you could just double click on this field, right? So double click, hit copy, and then where it says get elements by class name, okay? You wanna delete this part and replace it with the code, with, with the class name, sorry, that you found on your website. So once this is replaced, you want to hit copy and then you want to go to your uh, store. So in this case, let me just remove the other snippet that I just added. You would want to add it like this. Okay. So once this is added again, you want to hit save and your added to cart uh, snippet is going to be installed. So make sure you only choose one of them and uh, make sure you hit save. After you hit save, the metric is going to be installed. Now, you might be asking like, um, why does it not show up on the analytics section? And that's because you need to wait for it to trigger first before the analytics is actually created. Okay. So to demonstrate this, instead, what you can do is actually manually trigger it. So you need to manually trigger it by creating a uh, pop-up form, right? Like a sign up form through Klaviyo. Once you create this, you need to make sure to sign up to your own list on the website so that your browser becomes cookied. So let's uh, let's go demo this on my uh, Clifora demo store. So you can see avoid FOMO. I just hit this. I'm going to put my own email address in right here. I'm going to hit subscribe. And once I'm in, once it says you're in, you can go to a product page, hit add to cart, right? You can see this is in the cart. You want to go back to your Clavio store right? And then you want to search Boyan or whatever your email is, right? You can see active just now and uh, the added to cart has just happened. So they've, I've just added to cart and um, it's reflected in my store. So once this metric is here, you're going to be able to go into your flow section and this is the template that you're going to want to use by the way. So um, you want to hit create flow. And in the flow ideas, you want to hit, uh, you want to type in cart, right? And you're going to see that there's the abandoned cart reminder added to cart trigger, right? So you just click into this and how you can distinguish it from the regular one is it's going to have like a cogwheel next to it as opposed to the Shopify logo. So once you click this, uh, you just name this to whatever you want and then you want to make sure to hit create a flow and that's how you build out the abandoned checkout uh, the abandoned cart flow so i hope you found this video useful if you did and want some help with email marketing feel free to book in a call with myself down below um, we work with brands doing above 50,000 per month uh, or more if you're under that point i would highly recommend you check out my course where i teach you the a to z when it comes to email marketing you're going to learn a really high income skill uh, just to leverage in building your brand and also just learn about email marketing in general. It's really great when you're vetting team members for, for the future. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.